video, I'm going to be showing you how to add bullets within your Apple Pages document. Let's do it right now. Okay, as you can see, I've got a very simple Apple Pages document here that I'm working with. And what we want to do is just add some bullets to make this a little more readable when we are dealing with specific items. So let's say we have a list of things we want to add bullets to. I'm just going to do just something super quick here. Let's do item one, item two, and item three. Okay, so those are the items that we really want to have bullets next to them, just again to organize things. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually just going to highlight these items. And then I'm going to come over here and again, make sure you're underneath the style layout options over here. And you're going to find this little bullets and lists drop down menu that you can use. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to click this little arrow down. And as you can see, all sorts of bullets slash list styles are going to come up for us to use. You can use dashes, you can use uh, images, you can use uh, lettered. What we want is actually this little uh, bullet guy here. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, it automatically adds these little bullets. Now, one trick you can use if you'd like to add more bulleted items is to actually just hit the return key after the last one that you've used. You can see it automatically will insert additional bullet items. If you want to, again, delete that specific bullet and just move on with regular writing, you just hit the return key again and it'll allow you to cursor down. Now, one of the other things you can do is actually mess around with the indentation on these bulleted items and make sure your document is set with specific indentation if you want to bring this in a little bit, just to kind of have it stand out even more from your other text. Friends, I hope that helps. If it has, would you guys please hit that thumbs up button? Let's us know we're making helpful videos. And you also might want to subscribe because we got a bunch more tutorial videos that are coming up really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching.